7.4, example 2. We're going to find the exact length of the curve y equals 4 radical 2 over 3 times x to the 3 halves minus 1 for x between 0 and 1. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and look at what this graph looks like to make sure it doesn't have any corners, cusps, breaks in the graph, because if it does, we can't take the derivative, which we're going to need for our formula. So we look at the graph here, looks nice and smooth between 0 and 1, so we're all set. It's important to make sure there's no cusps, corners, or breaks. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down our formula, which is L is equal to the integral from A to B, 1 plus dy dx squared. Okay, so I have y is equal to 4 radical 2 over 3 x to the 3 halves minus 1. So we go ahead and we're going to take the derivative. So we get 4 radical 2 over 3 times 3 over 2 x to the 1 half. So the 3's cancel, 2's reduce. So you get this is 2 radical 2 x to the 1 half. Then we're going to simplify this a little bit. This is 2 radical 2 times radical x. So it's 2 radical 2x. All right, And then this is going to take the place of this dy dx. So we get this is the integral from 0 to 1. Radical 1 plus 2 square root of 2x squared. So integral 0 to 1, 1 plus 4 times 2x. Integral 0 to 1, square root 1 plus 8x dx. Now at this point, we make a decision. We either put it in our calculator or we do it by hand. Because the problem said exact, that's kind of our hint that we're going to be integrating this by hand. So it's the integral from 0 to 1, 1 plus 8x to the 1 half dx. Now we're going to need a u sub here. So back from calc AB, we have u is 1 plus 8x. So du is going to be 8 dx. So 1 eighth du is equal to dx. And then don't forget, if we do a u sub, we've got to change our limits. So when x equals 0, u is equal to 1. And when x is equal to 1, u is equal to 9. We get those u's by plugging the x into this equation here. So now our integral changes to the integral from 1 to 9, 1 eighth on the outside, and a u to the 1 half du. Okay, so when we do the, the integral, you get 1 eighth times 2 thirds u to the 3 halves from 1 to 9. So that becomes a 4, that's a 1. So 1 over 12. 9 to the 3 halves minus 1 to the 3 halves. So we get 1 twelfth. This is going to be the square root of 9 is 3. Cubed is 27 minus 1. So we get 26 over 12, which is 13 over 6. And there we go. All done. Now if you were to put in that calculator, you would have got a repeating decimal. So this is why it wants the exact, it wants the fraction form. So keep in mind, if this was on a test or a quiz, and it said exact, you're going to be asked for that fraction, not for the decimal. On your own, I want you to try to find the arc length of the curve y equals 1 third, parenthesis, x squared plus 2 to the 3 halves, from x equals 0 to x equals 3. So go ahead on your own, try that, and then resume the video. All right, so I know I'm going to need the derivative, so I'm just going to do that first. I get 1 third x squared plus 2 to the 3 halves. So the derivative is 1 third times 3 halves x squared plus 2 to the 1 half times 2x because of the chain rule. Do not forget that chain rule. It's very important. Okay, so these 3's cancel. These 2's are going to cancel. So I get y prime is equal to x, x squared plus 2 to the 1 half. So just simplifying that a little bit, x square root x squared plus 2. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and plug it into my equation. So it's the integral from 0 to 3, square root 1 plus x, x squared plus 2 to the 1 half squared dx. 
Okay, so we're just going to simplify this now. So this becomes the integral from 0 to 3. Distribute in the x squared. And then we're going to rewrite it in the right order. And this is where your Algebra 2 skills come in handy. We're going to go ahead and factor it. And we get x squared plus 1 squared. So the square root and the 2 cancel. So this becomes the integral from 0 to 3 of x squared plus 1. So when you do the antiderivative, you get x cubed over 3 plus x from 0 to 3. That's it. It's basically just plugging things into an equation and then working them out.